In these boxes are more than 100 fragrances that we only paid $300 for, which is over $200 less than this bottle of Stella Toms from Louis Vuitton. So what's the catch and how do we get them so cheap? We found and ordered for one of the best liquidation websites and they're known for their insane deals. Like this case of 60 X body sprays for only 200 bucks. And when I came across these fragrance deals, they seem too good to be true. But after a few rounds of bidding I scored an unbelievable deal myself. These fragrances are supposed to have a retail value of over $2,000, meaning if we wanted to sell these fragrances, we could potentially make six times our original investment. I got money in the bank. Show them what you drink. The only problem is I have no idea if any of these fragrances are actually any good. Today we're going to see how much money I could potentially make back from selling these if I were to try. I'm going to start with this one. The first fragrance auction we won was an assortment of 24 men's and women's fragrances inspired by the house of Armani. So think of standout fragrances like Aqua De Joe, Stronger With You, and Armani Cold. In this first box, we have 24 bottles over 14 different fragrances. I won't go through them all. I'll try some of the doubles and let you know how they smell. First up, we have DC Marine, and this is supposed to be compared to Aqua De Joe, one of the most sold fragrances of all time. So DC Marine has a similar look to what you would get in Aqua De Joe, but let's see if the fragrance is anything close. Actually, this one is really good. Now to a trained nose, this one's not gonna smell 100% like a carbon copy, but if you're looking for something very similar, this could be your go-to. This one so far is fresh and woody. It also has a slight citrus component to it, but I'm not sure on the longevity yet. We'll have to determine what that's like down the line. Next, we'll try Enduring Man, which is supposed to be inspired by Armani, Stronger With You, absolutely. Now, clearly the presentation for Enduring Man is nothing like Stronger With You or Stronger With You, absolutely. This one is more in line with what we saw with the original DC. They did a good job. Now, although I'm getting the test strip back bin, this is nothing like the fragrances we experienced from Timu. Enduring Man is warm, it's inviting, it has this nice sweetness with it, and it's also one that you can clearly tell would be great for fall and winter. I can already tell it's not as potent as Stronger With You or Stronger With You, absolutely, but if you're looking for something that you can rock, store in the car, and get away with it, this could be your guy. Next, we'll get into Darken, which is supposed to be inspired by Armani Cold Absolute Instinct. And that fragrance is quite popular out there, although I haven't seen it in quite some time. Now, so far, the presentations for these bottles have been fairly consistent, nice weight, and good atomizers, especially for the price point, so I don't feel gypped. So in this one, I'm getting some hints of citrus, possibly some patchouli within this one and then there's also this saltiness probably tied back to some type of marine note but it's not that strong i've been trying to dive into the fragrances that were not wrapped in cellophane but this is one i have to try this one is called a light for women and this fragrance is supposed to be a dupe for armani's my way now the missus does have that one in the collection so i'm going to compare it and see if this one is even close. It's close, not as good, and it also doesn't have that same quality that you would get with Armani fragrances, and that goes across the board here. In fact, I would say that this one even smells a little cheap. But if you were on a budget and you needed something to quickly get you by, not exactly you, but for the 5% of women watching out there, this is a fragrance that you could potentially put in the stash. And the final fragrance we'll hop into from this box is Precious Secrets Parfum. Well, it's almost like Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Listen, this is also supposed to be a Armani fragrance, just like everything else we've talked about so far. Now, I'll be the first to admit that I don't exactly remember how Armani Cold for Women smells, but I can give you a good breakdown on this one. Precious Secrets 57 is a for sure feminine fragrance. It has a 
dark twist to it and it also has a bit of sweetness to this fragrance as well now what i will say is a downside to this fragrance is it does smell a bit dated and also thinking about when the original amani code came out then it kind of goes in line i let the missus smell this one and she said it does have a lighter feel to it so you have to go a little heavier on the sprays if you really wanted to make a statement so we still got a lot more fragrances to go and we won't go through each of these but here's my recap for box one this box was supposed to be worth between 384 dollars and 480 bucks and so far i would say that these prices are right on par in fact when smelling these fragrances i think they're comparative to something that you can pick up at burlington or even tj maxx and those price points there might run you up to 25 dollars so for this box i'll say that maybe this one's worth 500 which means we aren't rich yet fellas and speaking of rich let me introduce you to my scent of the day which is from precious liquids and this one is aqua oud to me this one just smells like money it's more of a woody oud with moss bergamot lime pineapple and then you also get this merino in this fragrance one that i am confident to wear almost at any point and it is a head turner for sure. Be sure to use my code down below if you're looking to pick up a game changer. Moving on to box number two. In this box, we have a 28 piece assortment of men's and women's fragrances inspired by fragrance houses like Creed, Ralph Lauren, Azaro, Guerlain, and even Tom Ford. So let's see what we got. Pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it. We got two gift sets. Looking at these fragrances, they remind me of something you would see at your fragrance kiosk at your local flea market. We got some damage, we got some damage. Now, unlike our previous box, this one has a few testers within it and I kind of feel gypped. There's 28 fragrances here. Three of them are technically testers. We have two gift sets and majority of them are women's fragrances but life's like a box of chocolates <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get but there's still hope for this box according to the description these fragrances should be high quality long lasting and attractive let's start with urban legend gentlemen this one's supposed to be a recreation of tom ford's ombre leather and i'm a huge fan of that fragrance so we'll see how it stacks up the presentation on this bottle is fairly simple pretty much like the others just in a taller format. All right, nice distribution. Okay. Me. Okay, listen, I can see where you were going with it. Leather-ish nuances, slight spice, much more fresh than what you would get in ombre leather, but it doesn't smell bad, at least not yet. Now on the flip side, I let the missus smell it and she said, I, Hate it. For me, smelling this fragrance, it doesn't smell exactly like ombre leather. To me, this is more of a mix between ombre leather and fucking fabulous. And we'll dive into these testers here. We have Thunder Blue. Now this feels and looks extremely cheap. And I can tell you from a price point perspective, this would be way down on the list. But I am saying that before I have an opportunity to smell it. Now this Thunder Blue fragrance is supposed to be their interpretation of Polo Blue. And if you could not tell from the blue horse running across the blue ocean with blue in the background that this might be Polo related, then you know now. To me, this one smells fairly good. It's fresh, it's clean, has a slight aquatic feel to it without being salty or overpowering. It almost just smells like a nice clean shower gel. Not bad for a gym scent or fresh out of the shower if you're going to bed. Next, we have a ladies version of Polo Sport and they're not even trying to hide it because this one doesn't even have a name. It just says our version of ladies Polo Sport. So <laughs> here you have it. I don't like it. Mm -mm. I do not recommend this. Now, there's something that's almost like a bubblegum feel in the background, but not one that I would recommend that you pick up. Pass. And the final fragrance we'll test from this box because it's a tester is a Spirit Love. And this is supposed to be a fragrance by Nina Risi. I don't know who that is. Look like it's going to be something that's dark, peachy, maybe a little bit more romantic and sensual. Fruity for sure. Not 
overly dark, but not super fresh. I could see someone wearing this fragrance, but not if you were like a big fragrance fanatic. I'll switch it up a bit. Not a bad fragrance, but for me, when I smell this fragrance, it almost gives me Prada candy type of vibes, and that's not for everyone, but for those people who wear it, it works. This box here contained a few fragrances that were supposed to be inspired by niche fragrances and valued up to 520 bucks. But if I'm being real and smelling some of these fragrances and then also with the testers and the gift sets, I would say that this is probably more like 200 bucks. But listen, if you want to take the guessing game out of fragrances, then be sure to highlight my good friends over at maxaroma.com. They'll be your one-stop shop for all things fragrance related from candles to skincare and obviously niche and designer fragrances so you don't have to play the guessing game like your boy. In box number three, we have a 60 piece assortment of men's and women's fragrances inspired by brands like Dior, Calvin Klein, and Hugo Boss. I'm gonna give you a buck 50, son. I might have to move this box so I can get them all out. <laughs> what the f is it? I got a body spray bag. 24 hour high performance sport. These are all women's body sprays. My wife will not be using those. And one bag isn't enough, I have two. Oh, this is men's, but it has women's stuff. This is just a mixture. Hodgepodge. New and improved, pure water. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's going back then for sure. Here's my token of love. What? That's what it's called, token of love. You don't want my token of love? Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> Dance, douche, douche, douche. Douche! You douchebag. Again, you hit me up with the women's fragrances, guy. Hot thrills. <laughs> for those nights when it needs to get thrilling. And we are unpacked. Despite the effort they placed into trying to make sure these fragrances did not arrive damaged, some of the boxes did, and I will not judge them for that. Maybe I will. Buried within these 60 fragrances, we have five testers available to see if we like any of these scents. And again, majority of the testers here are for women. They just jam pack me women's fragrances. We're gonna start with this inspired version of CKB. It's just the letter B. Because it's a B, you know, we're here on the triple B way. We gotta open it up. All right, so the presentation is in a black bottle, just like you would experience with CKB, or is it two? Whatever it is. Oh, first spray. Oh, it's jumping off my face. I'm not a fan. It almost has this cola type of feel. Quickly goes away. Small tinge of spice, but not great. As I was unboxing these fragrances, there was one that caught my eye called Pure Water. And I need to try this out to see if it's gonna quickly go away or there's actually something to it. Pure Water is supposed to be a recreation of Paco Rabanne Pure XS. And that was a bit of a legend in the fragrance world. So we'll see what this one is all about. Spray backwards. If I loaded every gun with bullets to fire backwards. What? What'd Drake say? If I loaded every gun with bullets to fire backwards, we probably wouldn't lose a single rapper. That's what Drake said. Mm. It's bending. A lot of water in this thing. It's better than I anticipated, but it's not good. With the name like Pure Water, I thought that this fragrance was really going to be nothing, but there's something to it. Despite the name on this fragrance, I'm not getting much of aquatic. I'm getting more of an oak moss green type of fragrance here. And some of that is going to be shown within the green juice within this scent. As this one further develops, I don't hate it. I just don't love it. Next, I want to dive into this fragrance here, the new and improved Warrior. Let's see what this one is all about. Now the presentation is very similar to what you would experience in Pure Water. In fact, it's exactly the same thing with just a different name written on the bottle, but we'll see what this one is all about. Okay. If I smell hard and deep, <laughs> if I really try with this fragrance, I can kind of see where they're going with this one. This one almost has a Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mans vibe to it, but it's nowhere as good as Le Mans. When I think of Le Mans, I think of a fragrance that comes off to be more of a go-getter. It stands out, it reaches out and grabs you and pulls you in, and this one is a bit stale. 
The missus just said from across the room, she's getting roach spray. And I get it. Sometimes I used to say that about Lamar myself, but this one I can see really why we would say that. Very chemically filled with this scent. They spared all expenses <laughs> in making this one. However, as it dried down, it did get a bit better. These fragrances are horseshit. Next, let's unbox pleasures. Now, when I look at this box, a guy is out here like water skiing, and I don't find that to be pleasurable, but maybe many of you out there find pleasure in water skiing. It says it's their version of pleasures. I'm not familiar with the fragrance called pleasures, so <laughs> we'll see. If you guys smell pleasures, let me know what that's all about. Masculine, chemically. So on all of these fragrances, you get a blast of alcohol and you get that more so in this box than you get in the other two boxes, but some of these are made by the same brand. And I feel like when they don't have a name for the fragrance is when it gets worse. Definitely one that you would wear like spring, summer, maybe into the office. No, you wouldn't wear this into the office. Not at all. I don't know if you would ever wear this fragrance, but if you had to, <clears throat> then I guess you could wear it to the office. But you don't want to be known as that guy that wears cheap fragrances to the office. I don't want that for you. If I had to try to pull out some notes here, I would say bergamot, dust, chalk, maybe a little wood. <laughs> is what you would get with this scent. But it's not one that I would recommend. In fact, most of these fragrances here would be a hard pass, at least at a $20 price point. But if you were in a difficult situation and you needed something to get you through, then I say that these fragrances would be able to do that for you. And I would probably say that they're worth three to five dollars at best. So this box was supposed to be valued at one thousand dollars, but I'm gonna say five dollars each for each of these fragrances here. Sixty that puts us at three hundred. Two hundred dollars for box number two, and then five hundred for the first box for sure. Um, that puts us at a thousand dollars. So that's more than enough to cover our initial investment with a little extra coinage to spare for some new shoes or a nice date with the missus. So now that I got a hundred new fragrances in the collection, I need your help to know what to do with them. Should I A, open a free fragrance store, B, use these for future giveaways, C, donate these to a local shelter or someone who could really use these fragrances, or D, open up a TikTok shop and see how far we can go with these fragrances. And speaking of TikTok shop, click here to see what happened when I bought the best Latafa fragrances from TikTok.